this year's special presentation's closing night spot at TIFF goes to the film Shake Jackson. It's the coming of age story of a young imam who struggles with his faith after he learns of the death of the King of Pop. Uh, that, uh, King of Pop, Michael Jackson. This is very personal to me because at one time in my life I was a big fan of Michael Jackson and when I was uh, really young in my first year of college I was really religious as well. Uh, so this felt like an autobiography to me and a love letter to all my past selves in a way. Jackson. Yeah, I went to dancing rehearsals for three months, from three to four months. Uh, it was like every day rehearsal. Really? It's pretty tough, yeah. Like this? Yeah. We're doing like this? Yeah. Yes. Like Michael, like the king? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, I was in the Muslim Brotherhood for a couple of years when I was younger, in my early 20s. Uh, and I, I went through uh, this phase like Amri Salama did. We were Salafis at a point. And we were trying to find God, we were trying to know more about our religion. Um, and, and we're here now to, to I think, show the world um, that don't judge a book by its cover. We've listened to this statement a lot. You know, like Muhammad Ali said, love is the true religion. And I believe in that too. The cast and crew of this film now have even more reason to celebrate as they've been selected as Egypt's official Oscar choice for best foreign language film. Good luck, guys. In Toronto, I'm Darren Maharaj for Zoomer News.